In this video, I will discuss about differences between programmable logic controller and uh, the smart relay. Programmable logic controller is a rugged, flexible, and adaptable industrial logic controller that can be used to any industrial applications. Generally, the PLCs are used for applications which are having large IO counts. And if you see the application, it can be suited to the any application like petroleum industry, steel, automotive. If you name any industry, the programmable logic controller can be used. Whereas the uh, smart relay, which is a, a programmable logic relay, which is a, a also can be called as a programmable logic controller, can but can be used for applications which are having low I/O counts. So the in fact, the smart relays have more in common with programmable logic controllers than the conventional relays, which uses the wired uh, logic. So the smart relay is used to differentiate. Uh, the programmable logic controllers which are having a lower price compared uh, to the uh, conventional programmable logic controllers which are of uh, high cost which e requires uh, initial uh, capital cost the parameters that are to be considered while uh, selecting the programmable logic controller or smart relay for uh, any application uh, it involves the number of uh, inputs and ios in the application if you take a simple uh, a light uh, controlling application in that case we can use uh, programmable uh, uh, logic relays instead of uh, plcs and other factor that we need to consider is programming uh, software input uh, inbuilt text uh, display serial communication options and then connectivity to hmi or scada then physical size expandability and price where all these are the parameters we have to see well in considering a plc or uh, the uh, programmable uh, relay so uh, when if you see the uh, number of IO point of view, the smart relay is preferred uh, when uh, the application is having a low number of uh, that is lesser number of uh, the inputs and outputs. And PLCs are used for the applications which in involves uh, the teaching uh, yeah, is having a large number of uh, input and outputs, whether these are analog or digital IOs. So if you see the simple uh, uh, applications where these uh, smart relays are used, if you see the con operated car wash which is having an output of uh, two or three outputs and uh, two or three inputs. In that case, you can use a, a smart relay instead of a PLCs. And if we are testing an equipment, uh, suppose if you are testing a motor, in that case where the output is one and uh, the two, three inputs which are used uh, as a buttons, so that can be in that case uh, we can use uh, this uh, smart relays and uh, for lighting lighting pattern control we can use uh, smart relays and for automatic escalator so for uh, non picking hours if you want to uh, save the energy so we can use a smart uh, relay which is having uh, some proximity sensor which senses the presence of the uh, persons and it automatically switches on the escalator in that case we can use uh, this uh, smart relays which uh, involves low uh, I will count low I will count programming software so smart relays are programmed with either by means of a push button so you can see these are push buttons on the smart relay so on a small screen on the front panel we on you can use uh, these uh, display and buttons for programming uh, uh, these uh, smart relay because it involves uh, less number of the programmable uh, runs so or we can also be programmed by using a computer all providers will all sub, sorry suppliers will provide the free software for the smart relays whereas plc's require dedicated software and requires external plc programming unit for uploading the logic uh, program so built in display most plc's does not have a built in uh, int integral operator display so one has to be purchased programmed or integrated with the plc's so if you require any uh, errors to be displayed to the operator or if you want to display the analog value to the operator so in that case uh, we need to have an external display that you need to be integrated to a plc whereas if you see most uh, smart relays have a built in front panel display which would be more uh, than sufficient to meet the need of your application like a display uh, the analog value or uh, for programming uh, the runs or uh, for displaying the error messages so it uh, display is very useful expandability so the expandability means in, if in uh, application uh, in future it can be expanded to a more number of ios in that case plc is a better option so because it will support more number of ios whereas a smart relays so if you uh, for example if your application uh, 
may not need more than four inputs and three outputs in that case uh, so smart relays are the better option and smart relays generally not be used for applications which required future expandability price cost effective uh, alternative to multiple uh, discrete controllers which uh, simplifies machine operation and maintenance so with uh, smart relays uh, this is, uh, is the one of the advantage that is it's uh, low cost so and also be earlier uh, when our smart relays are uh, not uh, available so where the application requires a simple on off simple on off logic in that case uh, the relays conventional relays with uh, wiring is to be used in that case a lot of maintenance and uh, complexity is increased so in order to eliminate that problem the smart relays are the better options and also many machine builders and oems are uh, preferring uh, uh, smart relays where uh, the application uh, when when the application involves low number of uh, the IO count smart relay emphasizes the lower price compared with even the smallest of, of the conventional uh, PLGs that are available in the market so thank you for watching my video